Now, now I hate to harbor on some of the the wilder situations, but you did have a highly publicized quote unquote beef with another very popular rapper who's no longer here with us by the name of Dollar, right? Now, did this situation really spark from the She Got It song as well? Yeah. Yeah, every every one of these, you know, it's weird. It's like every one of these things that you touch on that's that's even if it's sour, you know what I'm saying? Great things and sour things, they all came from the same situation. Where, okay, before I did the deal with Universal, shit was moving. I mean, I was on house arrest, but shit was moving. And boo, uh Akon brother had called my phone, you know what I'm saying? And I, I he wanted to buy the record. And I told him I sell him the beat because I own the beat from Bolo. So I say, I say the beat, but I ain't going to say you the hook because he wanted to buy the record from me. So he wanted to buy the record, I guess, because Dollar was his artist. You know what I'm saying? So he wanted to buy the record for Dollar, but I didn't know that. So um, he just wanted to buy the record. And I'm like, man, I thought Akon didn't wanted to buy the record to shut it down because pain was on the Akon. Mm-hmm. So, so I thought they wanted to shut it down, and you know what I mean. I was like, "Nah, I say y'all the beat." You know what I mean? Like, nah, the the the, the record ain't for sale. But I say you the beat. If you like the beat, you like how it sound, I say you that. And they wanted to buy the whole record for dollar. So a nigga asked me in Detroit. I was on a Dub Car Show tour. Uh, first time I ever heard of it. You know what I'm saying? Nick Cannon was DJing and shit. Nick, Nick Cannon, you know what I'm saying? He, he was, it was like, that shit, that shit was crazy. That's the first time I meet that nigga. Like, he was like, yo, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I meet this nigga, Nick Cannon. He a DJ at the Dove Car Show tour in Detroit. And that's wild. That's yeah. wild when you think about it now. Yeah, he DJ my set. You know what I'm saying? He DJ my set for, for the Dove Show, uh, Dove Car Show tour. And I was just like, I don't know, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, so I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't even grab that. That moment was like, oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? He, wait, when I met a lot of these niggas, Nas and all these, when I met these niggas, they knew of me and they f- me up because I knew you niggas and from Belly or from Myth or from that or whatever. And I knew you like, knew, like, I felt like I knew you, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't really know you. Like, you know what I mean? I just knew you from something, but they knew of a nigga and that kind of f- me up. Like, like what, like my son were racing now, like we meet, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of like, top elite pro riders and i'll be like son that's such and such and we know because we we watching these riders on tv and shit racing or whatever and my son had me into the racing and i take him and he meet these pro models and he take pictures or whatever with him and 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 it'd be like we know him but they don't know us <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be crazy you know what i'm saying be like man we know this nigga but so it, it, it's a it's a trip it's a trip situation but they don't you know what i'm saying that they, they when i'm know you and you know them is like okay then they recognize you craft and they with you but yeah man like i, I don't know i i at that dub car show tour i met dude and the dude met me backstage he said yeah hey um you know that that boy dollar said he had a chance to buy your record i mean the, the dollar said that that was his record he had a chance to buy it but he didn't want it and i was like man i don't know who fuck told you that shit that's bullshit. Like, that, shit <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense yeah, I'm like, nah, the beat was for sale or whatever. So I heard he said that to me, you know what I'm saying? And I heard it. So he said it or whatever. And then, you know what I mean? It just, me and me and dude, we had the conversation and then it wasn't nothing. And then I went ahead and did my show or whatever. And then, you know, four, five months later down the road, I'm in LA and I'm doing an interview like this. And and then they asked me about it. And then when they asked me about it, the shit on YouTube, they asked me about it. I said, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I just want to clear this up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who who said what or whatever. Like, nigga was frying that saying something about the, 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 the beat. Well, I mean, the, the record was for sale. The record was never for sale. You know what I'm saying? Dollar. Like, I said his name. You know what I'm saying? Dollar. Like, then the record was never for sale. The beat was for sale. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, your boss, Boot, he hollered at me about buying it. You know what I'm saying? But it, the beat was for sale. The record was never for sale. I just wanted to clear that up. And then, you know, I, I'm with Hazelo. Uh, uh at the BET Awards, I'm with Asla House Sister, uh, uh, Simmons, you know what I'm saying? Which, which, Hustle nigga, I told you she was gonna be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hustle, was, Hustle was like, no, nah, I don't see Asla, I, I like her sister, I'm like, no, nah, Asla the one or whatever, so I was with Asla doing interviews at the, um, the, uh, in the radio room at the BET Awards, like, they got a room in there, they had a room in there where you go around and you do your interviews, and every radio station in the country is there, but they got like a, 
like a, a, a small little booth set up on a table. Then you go, you do your interview for that Phoenix, Dallas, wherever, you know what I'm saying? It's all in that radio room. So you do your interview for every your radio station in the country at that time, you know, and they, 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 they report live from the BT awards. So I did the interview. I was doing interviews with her, was moving around and was doing different shit together. And a nigga walked up to me and he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Somebody was saying he was talking real crazy about, about me and this record. And I was like, all right, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm lost. Like, I don't fuck you talking about. Like, and I had some super dark ass shades on. I had, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, some I don't know what shades. I had some dark ass shades, though. And he was talking to me, but I really wasn't really trying to hear what he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? So he walked off went wherever he went at. And then I went and did some more interviews. And then the nigga come back up. He got some basketball shorts on now. You know what? what? I mean? That's crazy. You know? That's a wild look. Yeah, he was just dressed like doing interviews, and then he came back with some basketball shorts on. So I'm like, looking at this nigga like, what? What? Is he? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? They said that you were saying. I'm like, bro. All right, hey, look, bro. I don't know. I, I was all I said, bro, was that the beat was for sale, the record was for sale, man. I don't know what this nigga on, man. And I turned, and when I turned, the nigga punched me, and took off running in the radio room. You know what I'm saying? That's so crazy. He stole off me. You know what I'm saying? Ran, ran through the radio room. I chased after the nigga in there. They grabbed me, told me, realize where I'm at, chill out, blah, blah, blah. It ain't nothing. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just take it for what it is. And then he ran around and said, knock me out. He hit me, you know what I'm saying? Pretty good. But he ain't knock a nigga out of no shit like that. He just punched me in and want a nigga like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he studs you like, oh fuck the nigga. Hey, we, we, I'm in a fight. You know what I'm saying? The nigga. He running. I'm chasing after the nigga, and then they grabbing me, telling me, no, 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 don't do, don't do nothing, nah, nah, chill out, all right. And then they let him go. He got out. He got out of the radio room. I don't know where the nigga went, but now is it true? Because first off, that's putting you in a bad predicament. You're doing your, your professional time. You, mm -hmm. you're working like a professional. You're doing what you're supposed to do as an artist. You, yeah. you go, you got Angela Simmons and them right there with you. Yeah. So yeah. you, you really want to maintain the best, you know, or a positive mm -hmm. image out there and show that you could be easy to work with, right? Yeah. And then somebody comes in in basketball shorts, which is nasty work anyway. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. and then blindsides you. And mm -hmm. is it true that Dollar then went and called you? Yeah, okay. So after all this shit happened, the shit went south or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, He had posted some little video talking about, you know, what, what happened. That shit, and then they took it down, but they put that shit back on the internet too. So that shit on the internet now. Nah. But he took the video. He said, I had a video and he had a video. He supposed to took his video down. I took my video down. He took his video down. I took mine down because the label wanted me to take my shit down. I told a nigga he couldn't come come uh, uh, east at all. If he come at east, it, it came east, it was going to be a problem. So he he posted up the video. He posted up and that, and that was it. So then I took mine down first and then he took his down. And then... um. He called, uh, he called, he didn't call me, he called my manager. Uh, he had a manager at the time. That manager called, you know what I'm saying? My manager, uh, Manny or whatever. And then we, uh, we met at the Beverly Center, you know what I'm saying? And nigga wanted to bump. And I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga don't want to fight you, bro. Like, I, I ain't, a nigga, I look like, like, I mean, I, nigga, I mean, nigga don't want to fight you, bro. Like, I'm trying to figure out what, what the bro, like, you beefing with a nigga over what? Like, what's good? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? My, my DJ hustle wanted to bump with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? We met at the, uh, while I was standing at the sofa tail, we went across the street to the Beverly Center, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and to meet the niggas and we talked, you know what I'm saying? He got out, oh, let's, let's shoot a fair way, you know what I'm saying? Cause them niggas all, they banging. So, you know, their mind frame is different from my, my, my mind frame. You know what I'm saying? We ain't on all that shit. We, we ain't claiming no colors and all that shit. We don't, we don't get that. So they, he want to bump. He want to bang. You know what I'm saying? So he like, uh, I'm like, bro, like, all right, well, let's you, let's just shoot the fair one since I sold off. Man, I don't want to do all that shit, bro. Like, hey, nigga ain't even on that shit. Like, where I'm from, nigga, be, we, we shooting niggas. We ain't even on none of that shit. So like, it, 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 my mind ain't even on that. Like, bro, like, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to kick it. I don't want to talk about none of that shit. Like, I just want to catch you down bad. Like, that's just not my friend. So he want to fight. I don't want to do that. So I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. So we, 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 we squashed it out. Like it wasn't nothing. Cool. We going to let that be whatever it need to be. It was stupid. 
it was a bullshit situation. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? Gonna let bygones be got bygones on it. I'm gonna take it, you, you know, your video down, my video down. Let's just squash it. It ain't nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? Cool. All right. We will. I, I, I threw out the midst of all of the back and forth shit for a second. Then it, it got calmed to where it wasn't nothing. And we just, we just squashed it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then I go back to the sofa tail and me is young bird, which is his maker nah, but me, young bird, his cousin, a few other niggas that we all out there, whatever. Chris Brown out there with Rihanna and shit. You know what I'm saying? And we all out there in front of the sofa tail. And, and then I go in. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? This shit's just too tense for me. I'm going in. I'm going to go to my room. So I go in. I go into my room. Go to my room. I go in the elevator. I get in the elevator. And it's like juice. Like, as the elevator closes slow, I'm getting ready to go to my room. This nigga stick his hand in the boom. And he stopped the motherfucking, uh, 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 the door from closing. The elevator and, door? Yeah, he come in and he get in the elevator with me and I already got the button pressed to go up to my room, the floor I'm on. So I'm thinking in my mind on some other shit, like, yeah, we just squashed it, but this nigga just got in the elevator with me. So he get in the elevator with me, we going up, we going up to, my, to, the, to the floor, to my floor, and I'm just sitting in there and he like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? That shit was stupid, bro. Like, I, I think that we should just say F that shit and let, 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 let's just do a record together, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's do some shit together and squash all the bullshit and we do it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, it's cool. We can do it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's straight. But I, in my mind, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking these niggas trying to play me. They're just trying to figure out what flow I'm on because how we go from you want to shoot a fair one to his dead, to you over here at the hotel, and you, and you see me, you obviously had to see me going into my mother of uh, the elevator, and you followed me to come into the elevator, so I'm thinking, man, these niggas on some other shit right now, but nothing. He's just saying, you know what I'm saying, he wanted to record a record, and, you know what I'm saying, let's do some shit together or whatever, and, you know what I'm saying, we we pounded out, I got off the floor, you know what I'm saying, he went back down in the elevator, and that was it, I never seen him again, you know what I'm saying? Now, the crazy part about it is, and the, I wonder if people will pick up on the, on how ironic, ironic this is, or even how eerie of a coincidence this is. The fact that all this took place around the Beverly Center and Dollar ends up losing his life at the Beverly Center, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 Like, uh, a few months later, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, I guess he got into it with another nigga somewhere. And uh, everybody thought I had the nigga shot. Everybody thought I had killed the nigga or whatever. I had fuck, police calling my phone and all kind of shit. And I was like, bro, like, I ain't had nothing to do with that shit. Like, man, that nigga squashed that shit. That shit was dead. Like, we ain't, we ain't do nothing. Like, and it was just like, uh, I had did a deal with Cash Money. And um, we was at a video shoot. We was at, um, let me think what video was. Because I, me and Gotti was at that video together, too. Um... I can't think of the name, but I'm gonna recommend. But but it was a it was a Birdman video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Always Strap. Oh, you know, okay, I remember that song. If you, go, if you go to the Always Strap video, I'm in there. I got a quick little clip in there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was the first video I had got into when when you know what I'm saying we did the uh when I did the deal with Cash Money. But at the Always Strap video. Slim came up to me and said, yeah, you know, that ain't mad at that shit. They had did that boy something over there. You know, I don't know if you had nothing to do with that boy, but, uh, uh, you know, they called me at the label and told me, you know what I'm saying? I, he so Slim told me he had got killed. I had no clue. I didn't know nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? He had told me, yeah, man, that hey, shit, that shit went down. Well, I'm like, oh, so I didn't know what I'm saying. Told me, he told me about it, and then people started calling my phone about it, and then that. Police wanted to know if I had something to do with that shit. And I'm like, nah, man, I, I ain't, that's, ain't nothing to do with me, man. I don't, they thought I'll put it together and put the play together. I guess he got into it with some nigga from the A or something like that. Yeah, from but Atlanta. The nigga, but the nigga from the A, he beat that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. he beat that shit on some self defense shit or something like that. But I, how, but it, it's, it's weird because didn't the guy, didn't it happen? Like somewhere, like something yeah, happened at the. I mean, it happened at the. It happened at the. Uh, uh, the same place where we, where we squashed it at. And he got killed right there where we, where we squashed it at because you know what I'm saying. P.F. Chang was like the spot back then. You know what I'm saying. Everybody used to go to P.F. Chang and get Chinese food over there, and 
that was like a, a spot that he liked, I think. You know what I'm saying? I liked that spot too at the time. You mix your sauce up and shit. You had you how hot you wanted or whatever. They had some some shrimp dumplings at that the steamed dumplings. Them bitches was fire. But uh, he, um, I guess that was one of his spots too. He liked that spot too. So I think they went over there and some shit went left over there for them. But yeah, I mean, the dude who, who, who killed him though, he beat that shit. He, he got acquitted, they say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from, from what I seen online, it was just like, damn, like, I don't know. And then, then you know what I'm saying? Then there's always a, a, a situation where that would like follow the nigga too. To where if I jump on a nigga live stream or anything, you get all these people, recipes, dollar, recipes, dollar. I'm like, bro, I had nothing to do with that shit, bro. Like, we had whatever, but we squashed that. That, that wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? We worked that hard. Hey, we, but people don't know. You know what I'm saying? The people don't really know what it is. Yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of rumors about the situation at the time. And a lot of people had, Put your name in there. But they also, like, at first, when the whole dollar situation started, they believed it was a publicity stunt. Like, there was a lot of accusations about that at first, too. But maybe that could have just been on one side. It sounded like maybe Dollar was doing it for for, for publicity, but you just weren't really weren't about that. You know what I mean? No, I mean, for me, like, I didn't, what I didn't like was, they had a, a, a writing, you know what I'm saying? What, where I seen online where a nigga said like a D list, a D list artist and a B list artist get into a scuffle at the BET awards. And I was just like, nah, nah, nigga, a D list, like a D list artist. You feel me? Like, what the, f like, I, I ain't like that. Like, my name had been mentioned on nothing terrible at all. Everything had been good from that. And then I had, did, I did, uh, I did Wendy Williams show. That same night after that. And that kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, like, you fucking up the money, dog. Like, I'm going over here to do Winnie Williams' party. And, 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 and you know, right after this shit just happened, and, you know, and we yeah. in LA. So that made the people feel like they don't really want to come out to that shit because they don't know what's going to go on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really like that whole, you know what I'm saying, aspect of it. The nigga was just, look, look, I'm a street nigga. I hustle, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, so long, kind of pot of make some money. And come up, I'm on some money shit. I don't, I don't want no beefing shit. Like you know what I'm saying. Like if, if, if it's still in the in, in, in the rap shit, it's cool. They can bring it back. I'm on, I'm on that shit. Like I'm, I'm bitch. I'm on some money shit. I'm not on no. I, I'm gonna go fight with you or buy something. I, nah, man. I, I'm, I'm, I can hire niggas to go do shit like that. Like so, I didn't feel like that mind frame. Like, I just, I, I ain't like the vibe that a nigga put me in where a nigga felt like he wanted to, like, test your gangster to see how street you is and we'll, we gonna squabble. We go, man, I don't want to fight with you. Now, I'm not no, you know what I'm saying, nigga that want to go punch and fight with you, nigga. I, I'm not on that, bro. Like, I'm, I'm on some whole other shit. My mind think different, you know what I'm saying? And at that, at, at that level, at that level, it looks a little crazy, right? Yeah, that's beneath me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? 